good morning guys it is friday and i'm off to pilates it's like 8 30 and <sighs> i'm so tired i like could not for the life of me like move fast this morning i need to move fast and i just couldn't i don't know why anyways going to pilates i'm on the 75 hard right now and so far I started on Tuesday. The hardest thing has been drinking all the water. I have been learning the hard way that I don't drink water. I do, but like I don't drink nearly enough. I probably have like 40 ounces a day. And on soda hip hard, you're supposed to have a gallon, which is 128 ounces. So I just drink like three Stanleys or like three high drugs, whatever. And then I hit a gallon. But I've been so bloated from the water. And I just am hoping that the bloat goes away as my body gets adjusted to drinking a gallon of water a day. I'm on my first, first 40 ounces. I do feel really good otherwise. Like I love doing the two workouts. The first workout I usually do is Pilates. And then the second workout I'll end up either running or walking or doing more Pilates but at home. So loving that, loving the set of my heart. It's giving me like more purpose and a challenge and it ends after stagecoach so I feel like I'll be feeling really good for stagecoach and I just feel like I haven't been on a good fitness routine I've been out of my routine my eating routine everything got Kobe like I was eating out a lot more wasn't able to work out a bunch as you know it's just like if you have a puppy you know like it's just so hard to stay in a routine when you have a puppy it's like a baby so I'm just like really happy. It's like a hard reset. Like I'm getting back in a good workout routine and a good eating routine. And I, I need this to get back in my normal routine. It's like a little reset. But yeah, let's go to Pilates. Okay, I just got out of the workout. I went to, what is it called? The Body Collective in Costa Mesa. They just opened up this location and I think it's only like four credits on class pass which is like a really good price and um, yeah I went to Zephany and I did the body sculpt class really hard I know they have a 930 body burn or Pilates burn which is like hot Pilates I did that last week it was also really well really good so if you live in the area Go check it out because I know it opened up like really recently and I think they're like just starting to spread the word about it. Okay, I've been working all day long and I came from Pilates and just worked all day with my assistant. Oh, so tired. Excuse me. And now I'm going for my second workout for the day, which I'm just gonna walk Kobe for 45 minutes. And then I'm gonna hang out with my friends. Kobe is ginormous. For reference, his back goes to the bottom of my knee. And he's five months old. So the breeder said he thinks that she thinks that he will be 70 pounds, which is double what he is now. I'm like, he's gonna be huge. Anyways, let's go. I'm back from the walk with Kobe. There was the most insane sunset. Also, it was like 65 degrees and it really felt like a summer night. Like I know 65 isn't necessarily like warm, but it felt like summer and I was eating up. So now I'm just gonna change into normal clothes. I didn't sweat because we just walked for 45 minutes. So I'm not gonna shower, but I'm putting on a little outfit. Then I'm going to go down, my friends are wanting to hot tub and get food in San Clemente. And I feel like in these vlogs I'm always in San Clemente. Someone DM me and was like, girl, you should just move to San Clemente at this rate. And 
one day probably but i will say that it's nice not living where all my friends are because i can just put my head down at work whereas i feel like if i was living down where all my friends are i would just want to just hang out all the time <laughs> and i wouldn't be nearly as productive so this is a good thing okay i can hear kobe making so much noise upstairs let's see what he's got himself into i'm sure he's in trouble oh no not the remote come here come here kobe now i've tried to lure the remote away from him kobe come here kobe come good boy okay he dropped the remote good boy good boy rest of the remote here's the issue though guys my remote in my room it's like chewed up once he's done teething and stuff i will invest in new remotes because um at this point there's no point like he's just gonna chew it up anyways let's go okay i'm figuring out what i want to wear down to san Coney, but i want to show you guys these jeans i got in the mail because i'm obsessed with them you guys know, obviously, I wear the Ally Grace denim. I got those a few videos back. The blue ones. I've worn them non-stop. And she was so nice and sent me some PR, which <sighs> I would buy these. Like, I would absolutely buy these hands down. But sent me PR, and I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. But... Their custom just opened today, and she has sent me like four different pairs at this point. And I'm literally considering just putting my own dollar down and buying more because I am that obsessed. Like, and customs aren't always open, so I'm like, I need to get them, get the customs while they're still around. Kobe, what are you doing? Not him stealing his dog treats. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, sit. Sit. Good boy. Guys, he is a menace. He is really grown into his personality. He's crazed. So I'm wearing these black jeans. Obsessed. And then I need to figure out what top I want to wear. Oh, I'm just not in the mood to like figure out a kid outfit. My hair is herring. Like it is so wavy. Also, I used today this new way anti-frizz cream phenomenal i actually am doing a brand deal on it and i'm literally obsessed with it my hair waves and curls so well with it i'm gonna put on a shirt real quick kids what i'm wearing i feel like it's a very boyish outfit but i just simply don't care it's just me and my friends and i think i'm gonna wear some Reeboks and that'll be that. We're gonna go get food and then hot tub. So I need to bring a swimsuit. I need to figure out what swimsuit I wanna bring. Probably just a little triangle. I'll show you though. I'm wearing my new Allspace because I'm obsessed. This is the cutest swimsuit ever. Obsessed. I love little rosettes on it. This is what I'm gonna bring down. And then I'm also gonna bring a sweat set because we're gonna watch anyone but you afterwards. Saw it in theater. Obsessed. So good. So now we're just watching at home because I guess you can watch it at home now. I'm really packing all of this into my little day duffel. This duffel has gotten so much use. It was set in PR. This thing has come with me literally everywhere. I'm gonna get the sweatsuit. Packing this sweatsuit. Ooh. Blue white fox, very cute. I am gonna pack a little salt hair body mist because I don't like smelling like hot tub and then this is my favorite perfume right now father figure by Fleur someone on their 40 page was like talking about or on my 40 page was talking about it and I was like wait a minute I got that in PR <laughs> let me go try it and then I went and tried it and oh my gosh the best way to describe it I was really thinking about this during Pilates don't ask me why I'm thinking about this during Pilates I'm thinking about how father figures kind of smells like Glossier U, but just better. Like if you like Glossier U, you will like father figure. My hair 
is giving Hagrid. Why? It's giving blonde Hagrid. Me and my friends were talking about how when you have hair like this, because I'm naturally a lot darker, when you have hair that's this like texture and this wave, you look beachy when you have blonde hair. But if I were to go dark, I would look like a horse girl. <laughs> and okay, not like a cute horse girl. Horse girl. I want to be a horse girl. Like I'm a poser. I want to be a horse girl. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. But in our heads, it made sense. Like we thought dark hair that's like this is looks not beachy and looks like dirty, crusty, dusty, and maybe even a horse girl. <laughs> All the horse girls out there, I love you and I want to be you. Just not the other, not the other kind of horse girl. You know what I mean? I think. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get food down there. But I'm just hungry, so I'm making myself a ninja creamy. I got this ninja creamy in the mail on Wednesday. Putting you guys on a sweet potato. Okay. There we go. I'm making it into creamy because I'm so hungry and it's like a little ice cream. So I'm spoiling dinner and making myself some ice cream real quick. All I did was put the Fairlife protein shake into the freezer. Now it's frozen and now I make ice cream. We're in business. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, my camera battery died, so on my iPhone until that was charged. But let's see the creamy. Let's look at it. Oh yes. Oh, so delicious. I only froze this one for like not that long, maybe like. Mm, it's almost seven. It's probably been there for like five hours. Kobe! And here are things in my bathroom falling, which means he's climbing on the counters. I gotta go. So, all my girlfriends are on the 75 hard with me. So, now we're eating a rotisserie chicken and a salad mix. <laughs> and soup potato fries. Homemade. So it doesn't count. What do you get? What is this? Southwest style Yumminess. top salad mix. Mm, it's her. very yummy. No, I just like to add Greek yogurt in my salad mix. For extra protein? For extra protein. You crazy. Extra pro pro. This is I not girl dinner, this is just dinner. dinner. This is just dinner. Give me a good party dinner. Please. This is adult woman dinner. Fat. This is giving wife. Wife. With four kids, dinner, <laughs> not girl dinner. Gave Rose one of my better greens in peach limeade. I want your raw reaction. Okay, this is the first sip. First sip ever. If you don't like it, be honest. No, that's so good. It's literally the that's best so thing good. I've ever drank. In. No, that's fire. It's so good. It's so good. It's, I've had, this is my third, I got these today. I've had three and I'm not bloated. And I've been bloated for the last freaking week. Good morning, people. It is 7.50 and me and Camille are off to run, run 10 miles. <laughs> back in the run not naked I swear we did 10 miles <clears throat> and I was chafing at my armpit so bad right here I will say that 
10 miles is like the breaking point where you need like water gels and a chafe stick and i didn't bring quite literally anything with me so i was just chafing up a storm i also think that the salt and stone deodorant makes you chafe like i don't know what it is about it but it like causes chafing anyways i'm gonna shower i have had this breakfast every day for the last week of doing 75 hard and i'm loving it it's just one egg and then a half cup or no a third cup egg whites and then one chicken sausage i get the sweet apple one from trader joe's and it's absolutely delicious okay here's my lunch i did the i think it's called bonza or ba banza pasta i had really low expectations getting this and oh my gosh i think i might like it more than regular pasta it is pricey obviously it's protein pasta but it's so good this bowl of pasta was like 20 grams of protein and it like almost like melts in your mouth it's like a softer pasta and it's faster to cook i'm so full i'm gonna finish this too highly recommend guys <laughs> i scrubbed off my spray tan i am actually a ghost but I am going for a walk with Kobe to get my second workout in. There he is. <laughs> going to get my second workout in for the day. I'm so tired. My legs are beat. But the show must go on. And I must get my second workout in. I was going to do Pilates, but like, it's just not going to happen. Way too tired. I look absolutely terrifying, but I just self-tanned using the Loving Tan 2-Hour Express. And I promise you tomorrow morning it'll look fabulous. I did a little contour on my face. And yeah, it looks super muddy and scary right now, but tomorrow it'll look perfect. But yeah, I think the rest of the night I'm just going to chill because I obviously self-tanned. I look freaking terrifying not leaving the house but um yeah i think i'm just gonna hang out with kobe today's been a very chill day besides <laughs> besides running 10 miles but i have to make dinner and i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna make we'll see if i end up making something or if i just I'm lazy and don't make something and just have a snack or something but if not I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow Again, reminder, ignore the freaking tan. It looks terrifying. But I made this little pasta. And we're going to try it out. So good. I'm going to try the meat, though. That is so good. Mm. This is the pesto chicken. Pre-marinated from Trader Joe's. 10 out of 10. Good morning vlog. I washed off my tan and I'm looking way better. Kobe? Kobe? Excuse me. Hello. He's being very clingy this morning. Very cute. But we're about to go for a walk. Get our first workout in for the day. Usually Sunday is a rest day, but since I'm on the set I've hard. Excuse me. Since I'm on the set I've hard though, I'm doing two workouts today. A walk and then at home Pilates. Back from the walk. This is like 50 minutes. Wait, I don't know if I ended it. Let's see. Did not end it. Yeah, 50 minutes. And almost, how many miles we do? 
I would two and a half miles. Good job, Kobe. Anyways, I'm having my better greens. I am actually obsessed with this. One sec. Try to get a straw, of course. I'm truly down bad. Also, don't even just ignore the dishes I need to do. <laughs> but I am obsessed with this drink. Like, I had two of these yesterday, two of these the day before that, one the day before that, and I'm realizing I'm running out of them so much faster because I'm literally having them twice a day instead of having them one a day. So I'm actually going to order more right now. Um, literally, this is not NAD, but I do have a code. It's Jamie10. My favorite flavor is peach limeade. So freaking good. I want to order their new flavor. They just came out with a flavor called Cocoa Berry. And I want to try it. So I'm going to get, I get non-caffeinated because I don't drink caffeine like ever because it like makes my heart race, gives me anxiety. So I'm going to do peach limeade for two packs and then, <gasps> no, they don't offer the Cocoa Berry for non-caffeinated yet. That sucks. Two peach limeade, one juicy lime. My camera's dying. I'm going to go charge it. Camera died and I don't have the charger. So we'll be finishing off this vlog on the iPhone. This is so freaking good. Like I can't, I actually can't. It's Kodiak cakes with almond butter, honey. I put a few chocolate chips in the pancakes and then raspberries. Mm. So good. Okay, I'm back. It is like 6.15 and I went to church. My charger had been left in San Clemente. Charged my camera and now we're back in action. I, my parents were so nice and for my birthday they gifted me an experience which they got me a gift card for me and all my friends to go to Mastro's in Newport which was so generous. But tonight is the dinner. So I'm gonna get ready real quick and we're gonna go to Mastro's. I cannot wait. I'm, on the 75 hard, I told myself I'm like really minimally eating out. So this is my first time eating out in like a week, which is like, that is, for me, that is so good. I've eaten every single meal at home for the last week. So proud of myself. And I'm just gonna get like a steak and vegetables. So I feel like it's gonna be pretty healthy for eating out, which I'm happy about. But well, let's get ready. I think I'm just gonna touch up, touch up my makeup because it's really not bad. Like I wore makeup to church and I feel like I don't need to add that much, but I'm just gonna add like a little touch more of foundation in the spots that I was wearing foundation. And then I'm just gonna add some blush, some bronzer, Maybe add a little bit more eyeshadow. Well, I don't really have eyeshadow on. Just add some, like, deepen up my eyes to make it more of a nighttime look. But, oh my gosh. Guys, I don't know what it is. Like, I love the way this smells. Like, this foundation. It doesn't really smell like anything, but, like, whatever it is, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, wait, you know what? I know what it is. It's what was on my brush before which is this dip stuff. I don't know what it is about this dip stuff, but I'm obsessed with the way it smells. And it doesn't really smell like much. But yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I really do like all the stuff that Dips has sent me, for those wondering. This one is the Desert Island shade, I believe. No. Bronzer is Mood Boost, and blush is You Do You. And yeah, love these shades for my skin tone. 
I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with an outfit, but I think I'll wear my Tony Bianco little like cheetah heels because why not? They're so cute. Okay, I'm gonna add some blush. Sublime Flush by House Labs. I also don't know what I should do with my hair. Do I just wear it down like this? I might actually put some clips in my hair. I like have these cute little clips like this. It kind of is getting, giving like little schoolgirl vibes, but I don't know. I think they're cute. Kobe is so sketchy. Always getting himself into trouble. I'm going to carve out my cheekbones with some concealer just to snatch these cheekbones. Might as well. I'm like trying to look at the mirror behind you guys. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I use this brush for quite literally everything. <laughs> Kidding. I use it for foundation and I use it for concealer and I use it for bronzer. And I almost feel like it makes it all blend together really nicely. Okay, now we're gonna set, bake that is. And I know I always say this, the line looks crazy right now, but just wait. Wait until I do my bronzer, we'll soften it up. A little under the eye. Okay, bronzer, house labs, obviously. And we'll soften up the line. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna skip the highlighter. The best highlighter in all of the world. Pretty. Now we're gonna do a little more eyeshadow. I'm gonna grab out my eyeshadow palette. Favorite eyeshadow palette, Make by Mario with Your Eyes. It's the best. Adding a little bit of like a, a pinky color to the crease. Adding a shimmer to the lid. Okay, truly obsessed with that, so pretty. I'm gonna deepen up the crease again. Just blend it all out. Now I'm going to add some of that pinky tan shade under my eye. Okay. Now I'm going to put on this little eye shadow stick. Jumbo stick. Putting that on my waterline. Really makes the eyes pop. Okay, and I'm gonna add more mascara. I truly, truly, truly hate adding more mascara on top of dry mascara, but we're at that point today. Just feels so wrong putting on mascara on top of dry mascara. Okay. I'm gonna use a spoolie to get off some of the fallout. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna set my face and then we'll do some lips. My favorite lippy is Morphe Dearest. I have literally this much left, aka nothing left. Okay, now I'm gonna set it a teeny, teeny bit with some powder. Okay, lining it one more time on top. Now, some lip gloss. Kylie Lip Drip in shade Besitos. So freaking good. Okay, so good. The lips are glossy. 
I feel like I look a little bit shiny, but I literally just set my face. Like, what is that about? Okay. Cool. Eyebrows, we're just gonna brush them into place. Now let's move on to outfit. I don't know about this hair. We'll have to figure this out in a sec. Okay, they get inside the outfit. This top, these new jeans I'm wearing, and then my Tony Bianco heels. I'm gonna put on a little bit of the Patrick Ta She's on Vacation Body Glow Balm. I'm gonna show you how good it is. You have to be careful with this stuff though because it does get on your clothes. I usually wear black when I wear this stuff, but I'm sorry, I just need to wear it. When I'm wearing anything like this format, like shoulders out, I need to put it on my decollete. And I bring it to the back of my shoulders a little bit too. You see how that is? Chest is chesting with this stuff on. Anyways, okay, the hair, I think we're just gonna leave it like this and just tuck it behind my ears. I feel like it's cute to tuck it behind my ears like that. Cause then it's like, you can see the waves popping out of the sides. Just like so. And then, perfume. I found my dossier version of Black Opium. It's called Ambre Vanilla. It smells literally identical to Black Opium. Like, can't make this up. Oh, mm, smells so good. I will say though that <laughs> I wore um, Black Opium a lot when I was going through breakups, and whenever I put it on, I'm like, it reminds me of that time period. I'm like, ugh, tough times, tough times. Anyways, we persevere, making new memories with that perfume and that scent. But this is the outfit. I think it's cute. And I'm so excited to eat out after a week of not eating out. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys at dinner. Just got back from dinner and I still have 20 minutes left of a workout to do <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk Kobe around the block for like 20 minutes and then call it a day I'm so full like I feel disgusting <laughs> we had two butter cakes it's only been a week of 75 hard and my body is already adjusted to eating like very clean so my body's not reacting well I am feeling so bloated but I'm going for a little walk and that'll help so much and I'll feel better. But I hope you guys enjoyed my weekend vlog this week and I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye.